hi welcome back to Leslie Crafts and welcome back to a new series well it's new to my channel but it's not new to YouTube I'm following DD Ferraro's uh, 3 in 15 I'm not going to do it in 15 minutes um, no way um, I'm doing this in my Facebook group again um, I do four of each pocket in my Facebook group because I am putting a kit together for um, somebody in my group to win so this is why I'm doing for and it takes me thing and so basically I do 12 pockets in an hour and a half um, but they want it also on YouTube and uh, they know who I'm following and there will be a hashtag so we can all see other people's ideas and takes on them so I'm doing a Halloween and a Christmas one um, I'm going to be doing these as journals and um, I know the Halloween one's going to, not going to be in time for Halloween but it will be for next year and then obviously this Christmas will be Christmas but I do know there's people out some of my friends really like Halloween so you know giving a Halloween journal or Christmas isn't going to be offending them you know so I'm going to do all three pockets in one video um, per week. I'm already a week behind in my Facebook group and that is so I can get the pockets down to a T. So when I'm explaining, I know what I'm doing. Um, so yeah, so this is why I've got two of everything. Um, I've also got a little book um, with all the pockets and I've just wrote rough how to do it in there so I know you know where I am I still need to do week threes week three pocket three on there um but yeah it's like my sort of little cheat cheat sheet um so I've got papers already dyed and everything else so we will need one of them anyway um this week and I've also picked out because I'm only doing one of each pocket, I thought this Prima pad would go, would suffice. And obviously I've got the pink paper here, I've got green dyed paper. Um, I can always re-dye more paper for the actual journal, which is not a big issue. Um, things like that I can firstly cut out, I don't need all four pages. Um, the journaling spots again, I don't need all four of them. And that big alphabet, I haven't got a clue what I would do with that anyway. But the birds are quite nice. So, you know, it's all really nice in there. So what we're going to do is, I know I need three lots of paper. Or three. Well, I actually need two because one of them I just need a bit of. And I know one of them needs, well, doesn't need... But I know I do get a bit of thing with the um, direction of the paper. So I think for that one, I think I might just use that one. And I know it's all got the little bits and pieces on, but if I cut it correctly, um, it shouldn't be too bad. So that will go down there. So I know I've got to use that one. So with pocket one, um, we need a piece of paper, which is, um, do we do that for pocket one or pocket? I might do this one for pocket one actually. So this pocket three is bound to go upside down, wrong way around and everything else. Um, I'm not keeping these, I, I would do normally, but my scrapbook is absolutely full. So I need this as 11 inches. I'm going to save any of those tickets so that's fine might as well use them so 11 inches again don't trick them away because no doubt we'll be using them at some point by seven and three quarters and there we go keep that and then we need to score on the seven on the 11th inch, on the 11th, 11th inch side, we need to score at three and five eighths. And 
and seven and a quarter. And then pick out which is going to be your top. So that's going to be my top, this is going to be my bottom. So I need to score this at six and a quarter. I had it right the first time. Six and a quarter, just go all the way across. Then on your top, you want to score it at seven and seven eighths. And where your first, where your um, 11 inch score lines are, you want to score from there outwards. But you really don't, you don't want to score the middle bit basically. So that's it. So I don't know how well you can see the score line. So you've got score line there, it misses, score line, score line all across there, and then two score lines here. So we want to score them, sorry, burnish them, just like so. Right, so when you come to these, you just want to sort of fold them up a little bit and then you want to cut them off. So down on your score line, Oops. and along the score line, try and cut as on the score line as you can. And the same with one down at the bottom. Keep your little bits because we never know what's going to be in the future, whether or not it's going to be clusters, paper clips, things like that, or if you want to use them in your own crafting. So that will go into my little pile. I've got a little bag. So I'm just going to snip off a tiny little bit so this folds a little bit inward. Some papers aren't true 12 by 12. There we go. And again, you're gonna you could have a little bit of an overlap. I just cut that off straight away. There we go. So it's all nice and square and you fold it up. And then what you do is get a little bit of contrasting. You want to fold it in the opposite way. So when you fold it, you've got your con contrasting papers, or you can have it whichever way you want it really, there's no right or wrong, at the end of the day it's all, you know, because I quite like the tickets, I don't know, think about them, I quite, I quite like it that way, so you're sort of doing that with your papers and then you fold that up and then there's your pocket so we just need to glue this together so the best thing I've learned from watching um, Dee Dee is to glue the actual bit that you're going down with rather than guesstimating it because then you're not going to um, come out with anything wrongly. So yeah, there we go, and do this side. Oh no, we don't want to do that side because um, just in case we're going to put a journal in spot there and fold it down. If you do fold it, and you know, at the end of the day, it's up to you. Um, I haven't done any of mine yet, just in case I decide to either close it totally or um, leave it. I can do that, you know, when when we come to doing the actual journal. 
So I know a lot of people who are following me at the moment haven't made journals before. A bit like me, this is the first project I've done. And it is a, it is a big project. But like I say, in per penny, in per pound. Um, because, um, you know, I watch loads, loads of people doing journals and it's like, yeah, yeah, I'll do that. Me, I'm even in a, in a journaling group um, and I've been in there for six months and I, you might have already seen the video out, I've made some little journals and uh, yeah, I'm quite pleased with them, you know, they're really basic, I haven't even finished um, putting any embellishments on them yet, well, you know, stick, well, yeah, embellishments. So this is the first pocket. So you've got a pocket there when when eventually it glues glues down. So I'm just going to hold that there. So you've got a pocket there, pocket here, pocket here, and then depending on how you're going to put it on the page, you're going to have a pocket there, pocket there, or a pocket there, depending on how you glue it down onto your page. So that is that one there. And I think this paper is really, really super cute. So that is the back one there. This one is quite, um, again, quite a basic pocket, but I do think. Now, in the UK, we only have an A4 paper. So I've had to redo the measurements on this one. And this is eight by eight, instead of eight and a half by eight and a half. So it's not a big adjustment, um, but I can't do, like I say, I can't do eight and a half by eight and a half because it only goes to, to eight and a quarter and it needs to be square. This and then the little bit good to go on the front and I'm going to use this bit here um, just because I can um, because I don't specifically want to have um, cut into lots of paper um, until I know most of the pockets are done. So this little bit is four inches. I don't want that bit. Yeah. Four inches. And I put it down for three and a half, but I think three and a quarter is more than valid. Um, so I'm going to have it like that, three and a quarter. And then I'm just going to get my one inch hole punch and I'm just going to put in a little notch. There we go. Just to show you that it is actually a pocket. And then with this paper we need to fold it up. So we do fold in half. Fold in half again. And then we need to fold it diagonally once. There we go. And then turn it over, dot it in, and then bring it up like a beak and then push it down. So it forms a nice square. I'm going to move my chair in, there you go, a nice square and then we can just add this pocket on top and then there's your little journaling spot. So this has like a pocket on the front and then depending on how you're going to be affixing it into your journal, whether or not you have any pockets at the back or whether or not you just have your top loading pocket. Again, totally up to you. So, there we go. So remember to push your glue outwards rather than inwards. This gives you maximum room. Then if you're slightly off or you need a new um, cutter like I do, 
so that is a bad one and then when the bad one opens up like that and closes up because obviously it reminds the paper reminds itself and then on my last pocket I'm just going to cut off the little strip of paper now this is the one that always gets me um, it got me in the group as well so and it's not difficult it's just my brain okay so with this one you need a piece which is 11 well i'm going to cut it at 12 i'm going to leave it at 12 for a minute but you need seven and a half by 11 but you need that little um, one inch strip there we go and with that one inch strip we're just going to move it into the middle and then we're, then we're going to score it all the way down so it's just easier to fold up and score and then on the 11th inch side, you want to score at 258. Um, so I'm going to score this on this one, 2 and 5 eighths. Score. And five that. So I'm just going to burnish this like that. And burnish this one. Obviously, not quite in my. I didn't quite get it in in my half. So I'll have to push it over. And fight it. And check. Because you want. You, what you're trying to do is make a hinge which I'm doing really really badly there we go so um, and then you want to score this sorry you want to fold this how do I have how do I oh that's it so you want to score, see it's so long since I've done this, so you want to um, score this so it goes down to the edge. So it is a straight corner to corner, I think just make sure that you don't actually go too close to the edge like I have. Oops. And then just re push it out with your bone folder, just reinforce the new score line. So when you fold it over, just like that. There you go. I've done my bow way around. I've done that the wrong way around actually. I have. Oh, silly me. Kind of a quick. I'm sure that is right. There's nothing like getting it totally wrong on camera, is there? The measurement is right, it's just my head. Thing. I mean, let me finish it. I then the piece which is left, fold over, then wrap around. Yeah. Oh, my right, chain. Oh, that's it. Sorry. Yeah. I folded it too far. Oh. 
Oh dear. Silly me. Right, so you fold it back onto itself. Sorry. See, this is how mistakes are made and then rectified. So get your other piece of paper. So you want your, your flap on there. And then you want... Here we go. Do it like that. And then, depending on which way you want it, just wrap it around. And then you can, we can, snip, we're going to snip this little bit off. So if you want to see what a professional does, just put the hashtag in, and then she'll come up. So before I um, close it. You'll have a pocket there, a pocket here, and a pocket on the top. And I'm not doing, I'm not gluing the bottom, so you'll have a, a bottom tuck on both sides. <laughs> so, with the bitch you, with the hinge bit you've taken off and you've folded. We want to make put the hinge in so depending on which way you want your or which paper you want the hinge on so we'll do that way I'm just gonna put my light on it's getting a little bit dark and I'm just gonna put glue on one of the hinge sides because obviously we're not going to glue this into anything at the moment and then we're going to put this onto this side of the paper by pushing it up just like so there we go making sure that it's adhered and then we can close this pocket up by gluing on that long side and that short side so even the best people make mistakes and I don't have the time to edit my videos so mistakes are going to be in here and um, yeah and um, I'm not going to apologize because we're at the end of the day we're all human and we all make mistakes Oops. just make sure that you don't stick your flap down if it's any escapey glue and then we can just close this now to close it all I do is I glue that side and that side just to give it a little bit more stability and you might just go away with just gluing the bottom bit there we go and then again the only bit I do is this bit and this bit Yeah. There we go. And all we're doing is, you know, closing the bottom off. So, and we can cut that little bit of overhang off, and I still reckon it will be still glued close because it's just I've got been down there <laughs> so yeah just like so I'm just going to rub off any glue that we have 
on that and again that is it Oops. obviously the Prima paper is quite stiff so it does like to fight back so and then obviously I'll be got to do this little bit here that time we can just run a bead of glue there and then push it out just mop it up in the page is like a, a flippy book that's the technical term for it a flippy book so yeah so I'm just going to grab a couple of these just to make sure that these are you know pop down and made sure that you know sort of glued because i know the prima paper just likes to fight back a bit so that is the first three pockets um like i say if you want to see how professionals done it go and follow the hashtag three in 15 don't freak out before christmas so it's um hashtag three in 15 d I'll go with them down actually. Got my brain. DFBC. So yeah. So that is my you know first three pockets. Um, I will be doing the next three and the three after that, and then um, after that it'll be, be like all the rest. I should be should be catched up by then. So. Like I say, thank you for watching. Um, much appreciate. If you like the video, just give us a quick thumbs up. And that will be great. And um, we will see you again very soon. Okay, bye now.